Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to another video. Um, today I thought I would talk you through just some of my favourites. I guess you could call it May favourites or April favourites, I don't know. But these are just some of my favourites. I haven't done a video like this in a long time, so I thought now was as good an opportunity as ever. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Um, okay, so my first favourite for whenever this is, April, May, um, is this Joby Gorilla Pod, which I managed to pick up when I was in Cape Town. They have sold out of these everywhere, um, and I know it's what everyone seems to be using, and I kind of just thought, if I'm going to start vlogging more on my 5D, which I've been trying out, I need to have a sturdy tripod. I kind of thought they were all hype and I nearly didn't buy it because they're super expensive, um, but I'm so happy I did. It just makes for a really nice tripod for traveling. Um, it can fit on the side of my bag. Uh, I, can, I can strap it to the sides and it's just no effort. Whereas I was taking a tripod like this big when I was traveling. It's ideal, it's got enough length. I've been using my 10 to 20 lens, which is not four or 5D, but with this, it works perfectly. I can hold it at a fair distance and yeah, I'm super happy with it. So this is my first favorite. My next favorite is a funny one. Um, if you guys are into fitness and sport, then I would highly recommend it. It's called a Hesker Tool. And it's basically just a really good tool for self-massage. Um, and you essentially use it as a grip. So you, you grip it like this and you can go right through. It's better for your calves, but for your quads, for your hamstrings. Um, and like for my shins as well, because my shins get very tight. It's been such a great tool. My sister actually gave this to me. She bought it over from uh, Portland when she was there. And this is like the perfect thing for when I travel. If before a race I've got a bit of a dodgy calf or a dodgy shin and it just needs a little bit of a work through, I don't have any physios I can go to or a massage, I can easily just get on this. You're supposed to do, I think, 90 strokes up, 90 strokes down. Um, but yeah, I found it super useful. It's easy, I can carry it in my bag, take it on the plane. So yeah, this is a fun favorite of mine. Um, Next up is probably my most exciting one. It's all my coffee equipment. So I have been just going to cafes and I haven't really done much of my own home brewing until I was in Cape Town. And when me and Phil went on our road trip, which I've just been sharing videos from, um, we took our coffee gear everywhere we went. And it was so nice because it just made the whole art of coffee making so much more fun and it just became a thing that we would bring our coffee stuff with us wherever we went, whether we were hiking, sling it in the back of the car, or we'd take it in our rucksacks, bring it up the mountains or whatever. And yeah, so I, when I got back, I decided I needed to invest in some really nice coffee equipment. So this, the whole range is up here, as you can see. Um, I've essentially got now everything I need. So starting with a hand grinder, super easy to take with me. Got some really nice copper uh, V60 pour over drippers, um, kettle, this kettle is super nice. And I didn't want to get like glass ones because I knew they would crack um, in my bag and everything. But I didn't really want to just go for the same old plastic ones. We're going to Norway next week, so we're definitely going to take these with. Um, and then I also have this clear glass server. They're just so beautiful and elegant to look at, but also there's just something about pouring your coffees out of one of these servers. Yeah, it's going to be great on the mountain. Um, those are all Hario products. Hario is known for being the best in the coffee business. Um, so all of this stuff is Hario, but I also got one of these Loveramics ceramics. So we now have some really nice coffee cups. I wouldn't take these away with me, but to have at home, I think it's perfect. There's something about drinking coffee out of a proper cup rather than a mug uh, that I really like. They've got like a really wide, thick lip. You're kind of only going to appreciate these if you're a coffee geek. 
Um, but yeah, these are super nice cups, so I thought I would include those in my favourites too. Some little like homework stuff from growing up. Um, <laughs> I'll show you how it works actually. I'll, I'll talk you through the whole process and we'll do a coffee maybe at the end or the start of this video. Okay, so I'm using Father Coffee from Joburg. This stuff is probably the nicest coffee I've tried in a very long time. So I'm using roughly 20 grams of coffee for about 300 ml of water. And you want it on a medium to fine grind. Cool. That's done. So I've already preheated this. Let's just wet the filter paper. Need some bigger filter papers really, but oh well. And you can pour your coffee straight in. Now time for the first pour. The first pour, you really just want to cover the coffee. So always go with the with the curvature of the filter. Your pour should never be over three minutes. So you can time it as well. Oh, it smells so good. But that's about right, about three minutes. Here we go. We want some coffee. Oh my word. Just check the color. Oh my goodness, the colour is incredible. It's so light. That's so nice. Shame, I hope you guys have a coffee as well. So yeah, that's definitely probably my favourite of the month. Um, another favourite is a song actually, a small one. Um, it's called Splinters and Stones. Um, it's by Hillsong United. It's of the album, but the album isn't out yet. Yeah, Splinters and Stones, such a good song. Uh, we'd recommend checking that out. Um, next, I have a few clothing brands uh, and a few pieces of clothing that I would love to share with you. Um, so all three of these are from a Cape Town based brand. Um, and I love supporting local brands and I just think this brand is super cool, it's like super good quality, it feels like that stuff you would get from, from some of those like Scandinavian countries, it's that thick, nice material, um, really simple, I don't like anything too branded, um, I don't like it when a brand like shouts its name on the front of a t-shirt, um, so this stuff is super elegant. First one is this. It's like a jacket. A lot of you guys have been commenting in my Insta stories when I was wearing this saying where's it from. The brand is called Stiebel. I think it was 2014 it, um, they started bringing out their first clothing. And yeah, it's super nice. It has this like nice brown. They do this in blue as well, but corduroy collar. Um, it's like the perfect overshirt. So if you're wearing like a t-shirt, just chuck this over the top, makes anything look super smart. Normally do like the first few buttons up. I'll show you it on. Love this. And it has pockets as well, which shirts never have. Um, so this is just a really nice like over shirt. Uh, love this if you're going somewhere cooler or if you just want something in the evenings. Probably my favorite piece of clothing right now. This is also from Stiebel. Um, is this jacket. So it's plain black, almost like a denim jacket. I believe it may be even, yeah, don't know what it's made from. It's just the quality is so nice. So it's very cropped. If I stand up, I'll show you it on properly, but it's very cropped. So if you're wearing like a long tee, it's perfect. But yeah, this is just my favorite jacket right now. I love it. You can kind of roll the sleeves if you want to or have them down. It just makes a perfect top for if you're like going out in the evening and it's a bit cool. Um, but yeah, I really love this. This is my favorite. And the other item from them is this gray t-shirt I'm wearing. Um, 
I just think t-shirts are so hard to have a really nice fit. I always struggle with t-shirts like fitting nice and I like a t-shirt that's a little more long line um, and baggy. So yeah, this is for me perfect. I think this is a large, may even be a medium. Um, but yeah, their fit is super nice. The quality is just really good. Um, while we're on clothing, I managed to pick up one of Steve's hats. Thank you, Steve. These are so nice. I love them. They fit super nice. They're like the classic cap fit. Um, so I would 100% wear this and my jacket um, and some like black skinny jeans. Um, yeah, I really love these hats. He did such a good job on the branding. Same as the jumpers, just super, super nice. Uh, I really love those. Um, and yeah, I believe that's it. Those are my favorites for the month. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different, but yeah, I thought I would share a few things that I've been really loving recently. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. This is so much fun. Um, genuinely having such a great time making these videos, taking photos and, and writing about it on the blog. So yeah, if you haven't checked the blog out, definitely go take a look. But for now, I'm back in London. I'm enjoying life. It's a super hot sunny day. That's why I'm probably sweating right now. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching and go well.